Betsy Ross may be one of the most known females in history. We all know her name as the woman that made the first ever United States flag. This is indeed an important event in American history, but what makes her most important is the life that she lived and the fact that she's a great role model for young women today. Betsy Ross was born on January 1st, 1752 to Samuel and Rebecca Griscom. She grew up in a large Quaker family. She had 16 siblings, eight of which survived childhood. She learned to sew at a young age from a great aunt. This was out of necessity as her family was too large to afford clothes for everyone, so they had to make their own. After grade school, her father apprenticed her at an upholster where she met and fell in love with John Ross. The two eloped, which caused her to be expelled from the Quaker church and caused a split in her family. Betsy and John started an upholstery business and later joined the Church of Christ, where she would eventually meet the soon-to-be Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. During the Revolutionary War, John Ross would be called to fight with the Pennsylvania Militia, where he would die. The story goes that he was blown up by a, while guarding an ammunition store that was, a, that was shot at. Uh, that is disputed by the family, however. Betsy would continue to sew during the Revolutionary War after the death of her husband. She would repair uniforms, make blankets, tents, and other cloth items needed for the, the militia, the Continental Army. She would marry two other times, once to Joseph Ashburn, a sailor who was arrested by an English patrol ship and taken back to an English prison where he would die, and the second time to John Claypool, whom she would have five, he would ha she would have five daughters with, moved to Philadelphia, continue her sewing business until he died in 1817. Then she would continue another 10 years sewing in Philadelphia until she moved in with her daughter, went completely blind, and died at the age of 60. Betsy Ross's legacy remains with the American flag. The story goes that at the United States' 100th, 100th year celebration, her great-grandson, brought forth a, a document and pre presented it to the Philadelphia Historic Society that showed that with her bare hands, she made the first American flag. However, this is very disputed amongst American historians due to the fact that there is no substantial evidence other than his word and the word of the family to prove that she was the one who created the first flag. He best dates it by a trip of, of George Washington's to Philadelphia around the time the flag was made in 1776 in June. However, there is no proof that they met together. Whether or not she sewed the first flag by hand or had any part in the creation or design at all is still to be determined. What is known though is that her story came at a time when America needed female heroes and she provided that. 